Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. Are you guys ready to finish the X Dimension? Because I totally am. Let's go, finale, super battle, superheroes requiem. We have zombies. <laughs> we have a lot of zombies. Why do we have a lot of zombies? I guess it's just the zombie apocalypse, okay. Let's go. Here we go! Gonna open up with a Mach Plus Slice from Mal- What? Oh. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong menu. I was like, why can't I special? I needed to execute. Obviously. This is just silly. That is so much fun! That was easy. <laughs> One turn victory again. All right, superheroes apostle. Let's go. Final um thing. And what's interesting here is that you have the level six uh, tiers of pretty much every monster in existence. Uh, I don't see a dragon here, but, uh, y you know. In one turn, everybody is going to magic change, and things are going to get crazy. If you come here with the puppy paw stick, if you come here with the puppy paw stick, you have a chance of stealing a magic changed monster. Which, uh, is kind of a glitch, but it's a really powerful glitch. And if you want to take on the Land of Carnage Pirates, you are going to need every advantage you can get. <laughs> the deal with magic changed weapons, it, the deal with uh, stealing a magic changed monster is, if you do it in the Land of Carnage, then obviously they will have insane Land of Carnage type stats. Which is good for you because then the stats transfer over to your character as long as you have the weapon equipped. Uh, note that you need to have the uh, weapon equipped as soon as you steal it. If you wait until the end of the battle, the weapon stats will all drop to zero and you will have to do it again. Also, good luck uh, actually killing something with the puppy paw stick in the Land of Carnage. You might want to uh, give Mao a, a plus nine elusive quake or something for that. Elusive quake, calamity drive if you can find it. On my way! And, uh, max out your, uh, stuff for attack and just hope it works, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, that's magic change weapons. And it's, I guess it's a good thing I got to mention it here because in the next, uh, episode, what we are going to be doing is I am going to be, uh, putting up a montage or something of, uh... Actually, you know what? I might just edit that into this episode. <laughs> Since this is obviously going to be so short, I mean... Kind of a, it's kind of a thing. But yeah, I think I'm going to uh, edit in a montage of my uh, of the uh, the strategy I discovered on the GameFAQs forums for uh, uncovering the really rare uh, Land of Carnage items. In this case, uh, what I want is a rank 39 Arcadia, a legendary Arcadia rather. All Arcadias are rank 39. But, uh, what am I missing? I'm missing you. Doink. 
Aha! Alright, so, that is what we will be doing. And oh yeah, before I forget, we just completed 100% of the X Dimension! Dark History! I don't know what that does, but uh, the in between things, I will look that up and. Oh, wait, yeah. Um, actually. I can just show that off by uh, going into the item world, can't I? Twenty percent chance for death blow and HP is below twenty five percent. Um, I don't know whether that means yours or the enemy's HP, but uh yeah. That's that's a thing. That it that is just kind of going away because I'm not really planning on using it at all. But hey, we got it. It's there. Alright, see you guys next time. Or rather, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, hopefully we are where we need to be. Uh, I see a... Uh, well, I see a couple of high-ranking items here, but... Uh, the important part is we are in the Land of Carnage, we are in a high-rank item, and we have invincible panels. Step number one. Have a bunch of these guys on hand, preferably with a lot of SP. It doesn't matter if, uh, if they have stuff equipped to them or not. Step two, lift a single enemy while standing on an invincibility panel. This will make sure that you can uh, can finish the stage properly. Then kill all the other enemies just to get them out of the way. Now then. We'll take out our guys, and we'll start attacking the Invincible Geocube. Until we build up nine in the bonus gauge. Could take a while. But we have all the time we need. Okay, you can see that I have a 9 in the bonus gauge now. I will get all of these items, but what if I were to use bonus change? I would get a completely different set of items. And as you can see, there is a rank 39 item among them. Just keep this up and up and you will get whatever item you need. As long as you don't run out of SP. <laughs> Begin. There's an Arcadia.
And there we go. Let's see, 124 turns of that. <laughs> Crazy town. But it was well worth it.
Because uh, we have a dude on an invincible thing. <laughs> Derp. Because now the legendary. Uh, really, guy? Just have to have the last word on me, don't you? Die. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I might even keep track of the number of the uh, normal Arcadias I uh, came across, you know, in case I get bored. But uh, yeah, that is that. Now, future me, remind me to save before I, uh, before I do the thing. <laughs> I'll see you guys all later. Next time, I think we will finally be going after Ball. Unless I decide to uh, film an item world filler again. But, you know, stuff. See y'all next time. Just for the record, that was a 48-minute uh, a recording. Crazy Town, that's what that is.